Blog Talk Radio. You are now tuned into the best, best, best fatherhood radio show in the world. Furthering Fathering Radio Show. It's the Furthering Fathering Radio Show. The, the, the brothers are back in the building. Brother J in NYC and Brother L in the ATL. The, the, the Furthering Fathering Radio Show starts in five, four, three, two, one. You ready? L- l- let's get the conversation started. I emphasize that if anyone is listening to this as a replay or listening to it live, connect with further and fathering. You will be encouraged. You will be edified. The 20, 30 minutes that we're on the radio chopping it up is nothing compared to the energy and the strength you will receive from men who love you just because you're a man. And then as they get to know you, they speak life to you, they challenge you, they affirm you, and they enable you to be powerful where you're needed, which is good for a family. Brother Derek, you're saying hello. It's not only, a, it's not only a good for the child, but I think it's a mandate from God. Um, I think the heart of the Father belongs to men, and God has called us to be that for as many children as we can. So. I don't echo everything you said. I'm, I'm, I'm fully on board with that, and I think uh, the call is for more men to embrace that truth so that we can begin to rebuild our community, our nation, one family at a time. Well, it's that time again. Welcome to another Further and Father Radio Show. I am one of your co-hosts on the south side of the globe here in the ATL. <laughs> Brother L coming to you live. And on the other line, I got my partner in crime, repping the Big Apple, the Big NYC. Brother J, a.k.a. Bishop. How we doing, Doc? I am giddy. I'm hopeful, <laughs> I'm joyful, and I'm excited to be alive. <laughs> yes, yes, the <laughs> brothers are back in the building. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. sir. Oh, my goodness, staying on point, good to staying be here, on man. purpose. Yeah, man, good, good, great to hear your voice always, uh, whether we're just chopping it up. Or we're doing the show, which is we're still just chopping it up. Don't tell them no. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Oh That's my it. goodness. Yes, sir. That's it. Um, you know, hey, a man, lot this is going the on. Last week, man, of August, Bishop. Time is flying, man. It's like time. Uh, is you flying. blink in, you blink in March, and you wake up, your eyes open in, in August. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and um, <laughs> it, it, it's flying, man. It's flying, but um, you know we know who the pilot is. You know, time is flying. That's we know right. who the pilot is, and we always want to give right. him That's the right. glory and the honor. And um, uh, th- it's apropos that we not only repeat uh, Ecclesiastes three one, but uh, that we go into um, uh, Isaiah uh, fifty four seventeen. And uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 3, one off, off, off of memory is, unto everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens. And Isaiah 54, 17, in the Amplified, everybody knows the first verse when I, when I say, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that speaks out against you shall be condemned. But in the Amplified, it says, No weapon that is formed against you will succeed, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment will you will condemn. This peace, righteousness, security, and triumph over opposition is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, says the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your peace for your righteousness, for your security, and for the victory, the triumph over opposition. Thank you, Lord, that even as dads, uh, we uh, stand 
uh, recognizing that we have our vulnerabilities, but we're in, even though we're in an unsafe, uneasy, unlawful, not very peaceful uh, society, uh, that uh, we, you have us. You never leave us nor forsake us. You are the left, better left, and, and we, we would be out, we would be out of line if we did not uh, 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 thank you, Lord, for sparing the life of Brother Jacob Blake, so that he can testify on his own behalf, and not merely the the, the recorder and other people. Uh, Thank you, Lord, for this time we spend together so that we can operate in purpose and do it intentionally on purpose. In the master's name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, amen and amen. Awesome man, a- amen, brother. And, and I'm I'm glad you lifted that that up too, man. Um, brother uh, Jacob Blake, man, who was shot in the back, um, apparently, allegedly seven times by the police there in Wisconsin, man. Um, you know, the the report is, and we're we're praying for his his healing and wholeness, man. That he's at this point paralyzed from the waist down, but. Um, yeah, man, got to lift up him and, and his family, especially the children, man, that witnessed this trauma themselves, you know, and um, this, this has to stop, man. There, there has to be a pause button, a reverse button, a delete button. There, there has to be something, man, that, that has to turn this thing around in a mighty way, bro. So, uh, yes, we're going to definitely keep our brother lifted up in prayer, man. And, and, yeah. and Jay, you know... <clears throat> Let me just say this too, man. You know, we we've been on the topic of uh, purpose, you know, and and I know, you know, intentionally, uh, well, purpose intentionally, you know, like yes, we always talk about, you know, what are those things that, you know, where should we be and what what should we be looking for, you know, and, and when I, you know, when this hit. Uh, Sunday, right, right away. I thought about you know the blind spots. You know, even though yes, we're purposeful, we're purpose driven. You know, mm-hmm. we live our life intentionally. We also have to be intentional to uh, be aware of those blind spots. Like what? Be careful for those blind spots. What do they look like? And, and yes. you know, what takes you off off track? What takes you? What rattles you? You know, you know, in right. our prayer yesterday, you know, you know, I was praying that, you know, we just don't want to hit the target, man. We want to hit the bullseye. But if, if something rattles us, you know, it, it prevents us from hitting the bullseye. So, you know, um, I, I, trust me, brother, when I when I say this, man, and I, I, I thought of you yesterday, man, I just wanted to sh- just share, like, how intentional you and I have, have been. Um, yes. 13 plus years ago, man, when we joined ICB, you know, it yep. was funny because we <laughs> wow. were supposed to, you know, Jay and I was just part of this, we were part of this prayer corps, and it was three of us. So, you know, when we got together, the, the direction said to uh, get with your prayer corps at least once a week. But but we 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 were so much overachievers, we were praying every day. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. But, but, but Bishop, you know, it helped, man. It really helped yes. me because, you know, that yes. that wasn't my normal. I'll be honest with you. That You know, I would probably pray in the morning or in the evening um, and, and have my mind fixed on God. But, you know, the hurry of the day kind of takes you away. But we were purpose-driven to pray yes. and lift each other up. And here we are, best friends, man, you know. Yeah, and thank you, Lord. So, thank you, Lord. That, yeah. And... and, and you know, um, you you know we, you know we operate, and we and, and so so you, people who weren't listening the last few weeks, we, we talked about how time is connected to um, purpose, and we talked about signs, signals, you know, t- the signs of the time, like what was going on right now, yeah. that causes you to, to 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 stop and look and see where you are and where you're going. Uh, um, but really, when you talked about prayer. Um, prayer is preparation, so that you're not su- surprised when you see the signs. Mm-hmm. The signs become affirmation of yes, he's coming soon. Yes, we're we're on our way. Yes, we're heading in the right direction. 
Um, so sometimes you see the the signs, uh, 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 and 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 you're not taken aback. Like even to even uh, in posting this, um, I want to shout out the guys on divorce dads with kids who had an opposite view of of uh, of uh, of what is going on. Who talked about law and order, and you know if you obey the law, things like this won't happen, and what have you. We we know that's not exactly true because you're dealing with fallen human beings that said for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So we're talking about right. fallen human beings with ultimate authority. You and I both know because you, if I'm allowed to say, you were yeah. in internal affairs. And I was a, 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 a transient MP, a, in, in a, a master at arms. So we both know what law and order is, but we, we also know that there's a difference between the letter of the law and the spirit of the law. And right. even when we're dealing with purpose, um, sometimes we can be so rigid with purpose that we operate like the uh, the priest and those who are heading to the temple uh, and walking around the man who was beaten and, and robbed. You, when when you are so pompous, you know this pomp and circumstance. You know the circumstance right. can take the pomp right out of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, and and if it, if the shoe is on the other foot, very often those who are who are pompous in their judgment uh, look for leniency, right? So uh, 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 it's easy to, to 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 say that the man that's beaten, the man who was shot in the back seven times, the man who was beaten, somehow deserved it and is unholy, and we should walk around him, or. You can, as part of your purpose, stop, help, and love on somebody. That's, that, that, that's, that's part mm. of our purpose. See, see uh, we are signed. You, we talk about assignment, right? We are signed, we're sealed, and we're delivered. We're signed. You know, it's like being signed to a recording covenant, not a recording contract, a recording covenant where you are now label mates with your brothers and sisters and you want to sing songs, you want to be prom- you want to promote, you want to stand for and stand with. You carry the banner Jehovah Nissi and you want to walk with God and move with God and you're sealed by the Holy Spirit and 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 you are you're in the process of delivery, but there are deliverances that happen along the way. And those cause you to slowly move that pole from out of your eye that helps you remove the splinter from your brother's eye. So, man, we yeah. we, 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 yeah. We, we got some stuff to talk about, man. We got some stuff to talk about. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 Jay, you know, I, I'll, also, I'll also add, you know, and, and I'm glad you did lift up, you know, even those that have the, a view in opposition. Um, and, yeah. and that's great because this is the way that we can have these conversations and we can pretty yep. much come to an understanding or, hey, just be at the point where, hey, I value your opinion, but here's mine. But I always, right. I always say this, Bishop, because we've always talked about this, even when we father – and when we have to pay uh, uh, our children the penalty of them being disrespectful, does the, yes. the, 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 the discipline equal the punishment or the offense that was taken? Does the punishment equal the offense? So we have to ask ourselves, does this penalty of shooting an unarmed black man in the back several times fit the crime of being disrespectful and just walking away from law enforcement. And being a prior law enforcement, I have to say, listen, swallow your pride. If y'all ain't going to hey, uh, use some non-lethal um, equipment to, to, to get him and seduce him and, uh, uh, um, and, and handcuff him, yep. then, hey, if he gets away, he gets away. So yep. be it. So be it. You put out a warrant and you go get them another day. But yes. by you saying you will not get away from me today by any means necessary, come on now. You now became judge and jury. Exactly. And that's unacceptable. It, 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 that's, that's, completely unacceptable. Un, that's completely unacceptable. They could have they could have uh, zapped them, you know, uh, 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 um, you know, uh, you know, give, give, you know, they could have. 
there was enough of them to, he was not armed, so there was enough of them to restrain him. Um, there were a lot of opportunities to do things. And uh, uh, I'm not sure of the story, but I understand that the domestic violence was between two women, not even him, if, if I'm understanding he had nothing that. To do with it. Huh? Right. Say it again? Yes. Yeah. No, he, he had nothing. He, he was just breaking up a, a, a domestic dispute. You, you know, you know, Bishop, but one thing that I remember being with NYPD, one thing that was very strong with us was that mm. there was a thing called community policing where you had to park, walk, and talk. Yes. When you have officers in that community that know people within that community, 99.9% of the time your voice is your best weapon, and that is something that should be or should have been where there was a yes. relationship there. Not, don't yeah. always work, but I know me. I knew I knew I, I knew who who I knew the players in my community. Put it that way, and I knew yeah. who to go talk to if I needed information. But right, we, we've right. so we've so much gotten away from that man, and that now. Um, but you think about this though, Jay, and I, you know, and this is what resonated with me, and, and we're going to get on our purpose conversation. Is that even in this sensitive time? Yes. And you're desensitized and you don't understand or you can't relate to the sign of the times, then, man, you're walking around with blinders. And your heart yes. is hardened. And it yes. doesn't speak empathy for the people that you're to serve and protect. Exactly. Exactly. Context is king. If God is omnipresent, omnipotent, the beginning and the end, the author and the finisher, and the story is his. Yeah. Then context, and he is the king of kings and lord of the context, is king. The truth will make you free. You're bl- you're, when you have blinders on, you're bound sight to your sight, and you're mm-hmm. limited to your own sight. And God says it in his word that a fool trusts in his own heart. That's right. That's right. So, so um, you know, be a, little, be a little more open and aware that your judgment, especially harsh judgment, um, will, especially if your children are watching, has more detrimental effect than that immediate winning of the argument, subduing your foe, or whatever it is. Mind you, you have little eyes, and sometimes not even little teenage eyes, sometimes 20-year-old <laughs> eyes watching you, right? Yeah. And, and, and they, they are watching for clues, for keys, for signs, and signals, and signature, and significance. And and, mm. and and how you designate, right? Do you co-sign on what is right or wrong, right? So um, yeah. there's a there's a lot that goes into operating in purpose as a father. But if you walk in integrity, but judge in humility, the two different things because you can be very yeah. arrogant. And walking in integrity and, and create a push away effect as opposed to walking in integrity and, and judging in humility, where now you're creating an embracing effect. So mm. um, that's good stuff. And, and Bishop, let, let me transition into purpose on, on this one, man, because this is what re- resonated with me. You know, even with purpose, when you, when you look at that purpose, um, one thing that we didn't talk about, and, and I know it, it's not with one of the uh, letter P's, but uh, yeah. it's outcomes. You know, like yeah. with purpose, we want to know or we'll be very intentional, what are the outcomes we're looking for? Yes. And yes. if we look at purpose right now, what are some of the outcomes, though, Bishop, that you can just put a finger on Um when you when you start talking about living a purpose purpose driven life that mm-hmm. 
keeps God first and that we're talking yes. about generational blessings. Like, like yes. what are some of those outcomes that we can leave some of our dads with that speaks about us being intentional, that talks about, or, 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 or you just lay, lay, lay it out, man. Like, like, what can be some of the outcomes so that we give them not just hitting the target, but we could have them hit that bullseye center piece, man, so that, you know, they're spot on. And if they yes. veer off, they're right on the line and not too far off of where they need to be. Well, well, well. You said you said um, before about bullseye, uh, uh, targeting. Well, well, well. Targeting is is about if you if you if you've ever fired long range, it's about the the the, the climate around you. It's about <laughs> your stillness. You know the, the 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 you know the 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 posture of a marksman is to be prostrate. Mm. Catch, Come on, right? <laughs> and, and you're supposed to match your breathing and your heartbeat. So what you bring in and what you come out has to match your heartbeat. Your eye has to be mm. single. You have to make adjustments before you pull. Ooh. So, oh man! <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 and when you release, you fold up and move on to the next. <laughs> right? Come on! Come on! Come on. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Bishop! So, wait, Bishop! Now, now, look, 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 man! Come on! I'm gonna give this back to you. Fold up and move <laughs> on. So, so look, yeah. look, look at this because this is this is something, though, Bishop, that you and I normally when we hit stuff. We keep moving on because this is, you know, to our listening audience, this is just the relationship that me and my brother, we have had for years. Uh, God yeah. does something very, God's put the super on him and I natural. And, and yeah. uh, it, it blesses a lot of folks. And we just hope that this will bless you. But let me just give you back this in, in a nutshell. And I definitely will ask if you are listening to this show, go back. To the one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, he said another seven. I, I, I missed it, but I got to get it. He said to climb it. You know, you want to hit the bullseye. These are the these are the characteristics characteristics of that marksman that want to hit that bullseye. Know their climate. Your stillness. Be still. Take in. Match your heartbeat. Come on, Bishop. Come on. How do you? Breathe. Your breathing should match your heartbeat. Whatever comes out, comes in, goes out, and you have to make adjustments. Yeah. Be singular, and when you release, fold up and move on. Bishop, I think you had another one somewhere in the middle of that, but brother, that's what I extracted, and I'm definitely going to go back because you know what, Bishop, this is this is what I know. If we approach every process with purpose, with yes. these with these characteristics or with these intentions in mind, yes. to be singular, to make adjustments, mm-hmm. don't be wise in, your, in, in your oh, own eyes. Uh, yes, you know, you know. Again, right? Match your heartbeat, but the natural rhythm of your heart, not yes. not the hyper. Not the, not the hyper of no. the adrenaline, but the right. national Slow it calm down. stillness. Yes. 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 Peace. Come on, man. Make peace. Yes. Says, blessed stuff. are the Good peacemakers. Stuff, oh, and we have a caller on the line. I don't. I don't. I would be. I would be remiss. Our, our brother, yes. eighty-nine, uh, eighty-nine, uh, thirty-six. How you doing, my brother? Love you. Eighty-nine, thirty-six. Or is it sister? Oh, we can't hear them. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, we'll continue on with our, our, our conversation. They're still on. I guess they're listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah um, and, we, and we thank we thank you for listening. And, and Jay, so think about this, right? Think about this. Like you, you really touched on um, how, how prayer is preparation. Yes. Um, and I love that, man, because, you know, I never looked at that. 
And I was in a conversation earlier, and we was talking about, um, you know, preparation in your manhood, like who taught you how to become a man. And, right. And, and, you know, that's that's your that's your foundation of becoming married. And oh oh yeah. Hey. And, and, and wait, I, I gotta I gotta give it up to my wife and I. This uh two more days. This wow. Thursday my wife and I will be celebrating twenty six years of marriage. Twenty six years. Hallelujah. That's beautiful, Oof. man. That's beautiful. Yeah. It is, man. It is. And, and Jay, like, years one awesome. thing that I know with the wedding, one thing that I know becoming, uh, you know, when, when the man is looking to transition from the manhood into becoming a husband, mm-hmm. one thing that really wrong to me, don't think of the things that you can't do right. any longer. Think of the things that you're growing out of and growing into. Yes. Because that's your maturity. That's, you, you, you know, because this is where your legacy will be going forward. And, man, that really resonated with me today. When we were talking about manhood and then we just quick shift and started talking about marriage. And I was like, man, that, that, that is powerful. That is powerful. Yes. I, I heard something from the, from, the, from the brother in the background. But, Bobby. yes, man, marriage marriage is... Um, the, that next level of fatherhood, of, of manhood, actually, of manhood. And um, it's when you under the recognition when he said it's, you know, it's not good that you should be alone. And it says, he that finds himself a wife finds himself a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. So part mm-hmm. of your grace is in your wife. That's a whole nother, uh-huh. that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother show. <laughs> Yeah, it's a whole other show. I'm digging it. But um, yeah, um, but um, it's important. And, and brother, brother, eighty nine thirty six, are you on the line right now? So we can hear some stuff in the background. Is that sister or brother? Eighty nine thirty six. Okay. Yeah. So so you were saying that, but marriage yeah. is uh, that next level. It's that next level, and um, um. You know, part of your purpose, uh, if you wanted to rightfully uh, create, uh, be procreative, <laughs> uh-huh. procreative. <laughs> if you want to rightly procreate, <laughs> um, you should be connected in unity, in union, in holy matrimony, and um, uh, uh, that is the answer when he says, "Man, it's not good that man should be alone." Well, um, it, it, and your you, uh, it's always said that your first ministry is your family, and um, it, family begins when when you get married and you start having children. So um, it, it, you know it's beautiful. It's a beautiful matter of fact. The word husband uh, comes from husbandmen. You know, you can have a bunch of seeds, but you know you need that that fertile ground, that fertile ground that you've prepared. Um, yeah. To plant them, yeah. so so. And, well, Jay, I know uh, it's almost time to get out of here, man. But brother, oh, wow. I, mean, yeah. I mean, I I know I know you normally lay down a prayer, man. But brother, I'm gonna ask you, you, you be intentional, man, to lift up brother Jacob Blake and his family. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, our heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, um, for uh, the life of the future the family, the community, those connected to Jacob Blake. I ask that you um, bless those in the, in the Wisconsin area uh, that they be empowered and filled with the Holy Spirit, that they operate in righteousness, in wisdom, but with boldness, with poignancy, and with truth. Bless a brother Blake with healing, wholeness, wellness, and recovery. Touch his spine and legs, Lord, that there be feeling. Return to him the strength to his legs. 
And if you choose not, let him roll as a king with a voice that will change the world. Either way, Lord, bless him. Empower his family. We thank you, Lord, for you are the Aleph Bet Aleph, our Abba, and you are furthering fathering. And you give us honor by creating us. You give us encouragement by giving us promises. You give us accountability by your law. And you give us reconciliation through your grace. And you train us up in the way that we should go through your wisdom so that we can train up our children in the way that they should go. Help us to be good men that leave inheritance to our children and our children's children. And let that be for us, for the Blakes, for, the, for all those around the country and around the world who call you Abba. We love you and thank you. In the matchless name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, amen and amen. Let's walk on purpose. Let's walk in purpose. And let's walk in love because love is the purpose. Until next week. Amen. Yes. Amen. 